What's up guys, Chef Q here, and we are making another corn recipe video. We are going to make a hot pot using corn. And this dish, Vietnamese name is Lau Bap Dui Sung Bò Sa Ok. Probably a long name, right? Well, to translate it out, it's oxtail ribs with corn lemongrass chili hot pot. So today we are going to make the broth for the hot pot. Uh, as far as condiments that goes into the hot pot, it all depends on you what you want to eat uh, for vegetables, for noodles, or for meat wise, you know? But today, uh, my hot pot is going to be with uh, just all meat, so no seafood, uh, because this broth is more of a beefy and a bold broth. So it complements well with meat. And the meat I am using today is um, black hog pork belly, uh, some beef meatballs, and some thinly sliced round eye beef. And for vegetables, it's just uh, Napa cabbage. What's the name of that? Mm, uh, green leaf thing? Well, anyways, it's vegetables. Oh, and don't forget our corn also. That's the vegetables too. So let's get to it. So here are the list of ingredients for the hot pot broth and also the list of ingredients to make the dipping sauce. We'll start out by adding 1 tablespoon of salt in a boiling pot of water. Throw in your oxtail and your beef ribs. Bring to a boil and boil for about 5 minutes. Strain out the pot at your sink and wash with warm water. Start up another pot of water and throw in the oxtail first. The oxtail takes longer to cook, so leave the beef ribs on the side and add it in later. Make sure to skim off any foam or excess fat that floats to the top. Keep your pot simmering at medium heat. Wrap up your peeled shallots, onions, and ginger root in foil. Then toast them over your stove top. Make sure to rotate them for an even roasting. Remove the foil and smash up the ginger root. Throw everything in the pot. Add in one tablespoon of salt and about four to five ounce of broth sugar. Add in the two cans of vegetable soup broth and also the can of chicken broth. Again, skim off any foam or fat that floats to the top. Next, in a separate pan, roast up about one ounce of star anise. This takes about three to four minutes on high heat to bring out the aroma. Then add to the pot. By now, it's about 50 to 60 minutes into the pot boiling time. This is when you add in the beef ribs. Also, throw in them corns. Put on medium heat and continue simmering. In a separate pot, take out about 6 to 8 cups of the broth. Set the pot for medium heat. Add in about 3 to 4 tablespoons or around half a jar of mam ruk, the Vietnamese fermented shrimp paste. Bring to a slight boil. Skim off any foam that floats to the top. Turn off the heat and set to the side. Let the shrimp paste settle to the bottom of the pot. Let settle for about 5-10 minutes. Slowly add the clear top water back into our main pot. Next, in a pot or pan, add 1 cup of vegetable oil and one teaspoon of a natal seed. Fry the seeds up for about two to three minutes. Then strain out the seeds and throw those away. In the same pot or pan, using the natal seed oil, fry up the chopped garlic, lemongrass, and red chili. This takes about eight to 10 minutes. Next, pick out the onions, shallots, and ginger root. This is about two hours into the pot cooking time. Add in the fried chili lemongrass oil. Simmer for about another 30 minutes. Taste your soup broth and adjust accordingly. You can add in either fish sauce, chicken flavoring, or salt. 
Next is the dipping sauce. I use about half a jar of gao, which is the Vietnamese fermented tofu. One to two garlic, depending on your spice level, add your chili. Smash them up in the motar with one tablespoon of sugar. Mix that mixture in with the gao. Add a couple more tablespoon of sugar. A squeeze of lime. And about one to two tablespoon of soy sauce. Give it a quick taste and adjust to your liking. Alright, so we are finally done. Aside from the hot pot, we also have this is black hog pork belly. So this black hog pork belly is perfect for hot pot. If you are using pork belly for hot pot, make sure it's black hog pork belly. And of course we got the uh, beef meatball and we got the thinly sliced uh, round eye beef cut. Um, and for veggies, I figured out what these are called. These are chrysanthemum uh, and we eat them. If you leave them to grow, of course, you get the chrysanthemum flower. But I think it's a certain type of chrysanthemum that is edible. Um, of course, we got the Napa leaf cabbage. And uh, these are like instant egg noodles where you can just drop it in here and um, you have your noodles. Or you can use ramen noodles too. That works. And the last thing is, of course, the sauce. This is kind of like a natto, like a Japanese uh, natto, but not quite. It's a uh, gao, hmm, what is that? It's kind of, it's fermented tofu. It's like a salted tofu. This is the perfect dipping sauce for our meat. Hmm, ooh, let's get some of that on the side. Ooh, okay, it's boiling hard. Ah, of course we got our corn. Is this a main ingredient for the dish? Probably not. <laughs> so this corn helps to add uh, like a subtle sweetness to the broth that we need. And of course, when you soak this corn in this broth for a while and it absorbs up all the lemongrass, the beef flavor, and the star anise, uh, and the spices in here. So this corn has a lot of flavor in here too. Ooh, ooh. Get that corn already, of course. Ooh, this is the main thing, right? The oxtail, ah. And of course we season this with the uh, mamruk, you know, the clear water on top only. So that adds like a very distinct flavor to this. Ooh. Take this on the side. I like to eat my bones with my fingers. Ah, so hot. Ooh, with the sauce. Wow. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Ooh. So hot, but so good. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Wow, it's so flavorful. Already by itself with, you know, all the lemongrass, the spices, the star anise, and the sweetness from the corn just sucked in here in this meat. And when you dip it along with this sauce too, there's just all sorts of flavor, all sorts of flavor and goodness. Ooh, ooh, one more bite over here. Oh, oh, mm, mm, my God, mm. It's just the right tenderness too. I hate it when, you know, sometimes you cook it for too long and the oxtail, the meat just starts to fall off. But this is just perfect. It just has the right consistency. Mm. Oh, of course, the corn, right? Woo. Let's write the corn. Mmm. Mmm. The corn sucks up all the spice in here. You know how the corn, when it's in that, um, like a seafood boil, Cajun boil, sucks up all that spice flavor? This is the same. Mmm. Mmm. 
Now, of course, this corn, the main thing is to draw out the sweetness from it into our broth and use it as a stock. This is just extra. Hmm. All right, I'm going to enjoy this amazing hot pot. So if you guys do try to make this at home, let me know in the comments below how that went for you, all right? Make sure to like this video and subscribe. All right, time for me to eat. Peace.